hi guys so I'd like to also introduce you one more interesting feature option which I'm currently using and developing for this ECG app as you as you know so this is a session not to offer something what you can let's say purchase for your own play but I like to give you some let's say ideas or motivation or inspiration how you can approach the roulette how you can consider your money management and playing so therefore what you can see now I'm showing you let's say two instances of the ECG app and what I added here is a phantom bankroll you probably remember phantom bankroll from the other apps and yeah the let's say the meaning is a similar one but the how it is used here is a different one so how it works so I give you example for example your bankroll is now 156 this is currently your bankroll and if you let's say going through the next session next sessions actually you don't have a drawdown because you cannot see the drawdown because if your bankroll is still in plus you consider it like in plus and for, but you can there can be a swings like you are going from 156 to just 20 bucks and up again to 100 200 bankroll and you still have a feeling then everything is fine especially if you test the system if you are running hundreds and thousands of random spins and so on you still have a feeling then simply everything is in plus and there are no drawdowns but there can be a, let's say a bigger drawdowns even then it's after your test run it's in plus so and normally we apply warrants from average if we are going through the not successful progression then we apply if we have variance from average higher than one apply to base bet and multiply base bet with this coefficient how to quickly recover from our lost progression but if you encounter something like you have two consecutive progressions and they are not successful of course it's going to be difficult to again multiply your already high base bet and so on simply the phantom bankroll works like then my idea is following as i said this is a, it's a inspiration a motivation a session for you to explaining you how you can also approach money management playing online roulette so i take this example right so you can see that i generated risk or ratio like 160 winning and approximately 60 times losing but you see then i'm playing just one level and 10 spins so actually i'm betting only 10 spins my maximum session base bet or maximum base bet for the whole two and a half thousand spins was just one euro or dollar point three so not higher which is quite good it's under control and not the crazy amounts and how i achieved that right so what i'm doing that so my approach is following i'm using this average let's say calculated and wavelength and so on as i explained in the previous video and if I'm going through the, let's say, unsuccessful progression, like 10 spins and no success, I'm applying this phantom bankroll and, and it works like this. If I go through the 10 spins and no success, then uh, and I'm currently playing with the, let's say, default base bet, which is in this case 20 cents, then I'm, let's say, assigning to the countdown two because length is two. So, and it says, then I wanna next two rounds or the next two progressions I wanna play with a higher base bet. Higher base bet will be multiplied with the variance from average five, which means I will play with the base bet one and only for two, let's say, progressions. So if I'm still, if I'm going to be successful within let's say next 10 spins, perfect, I still keep a countdown decreasing to one and playing one more round if i'm again successful perfect countdown is zero and i'm back to normal base bet 20 cents if i'm going through the already base bet is one and i'm going through the 10 spins and no success so countdown is actually still two but base bet remains one i'm not going to a mad and crazy base bets like always multiplying with the variance from average five and seeing something like then you have to bet 50 or 100 or one number and so on I, I show you right now so I'm currently let's say pretending then only 20 is coming so you see then here 
session spins are three, so we are playing 10 spins. So I will I'll generate, let's say, 10 spins. And now you will see what will happen if I click on the 10 spins and no success. You see what happens. So countdown is two because it was taken from the land. We are saying we want to play just two rounds with a higher base bet. It's your decision. You can make it. And we see the base bet is now one because 20 cents multiplied five is one. So now let's see. Then there will be another opportunity. I will simulate. Then, for example, this pattern will be now generated for play. So and we are playing actually with the one. You see, then it's going, going, and suddenly we will win. What happened? You see, then countdown is one because we decreased it. We played one round and it was successful, but we still have a base bet one because we are in the phantom bankroll mode. So and let's say now we'll see then simulate then. This pattern is successful and let's say predicted to play and if we win again then what happened is then a base bet is now 20 cents back, countdown is zero and we are playing normal mode as usual. And I'll now simulate the situation if for example two times in a row your progression is unsuccessful. So let's say then the, we will simulate in this pattern it's not successful we see countdown is two base bet one and if we now simulate then for example we will play this pattern and again we will say it's not successful you will see what happened countdown is still two because we went through the another unsuccessful progression base bet stays again one it's not again multiplied with five which would represent already base bet five and would be crazy and waiting for our next chance so let's say simulate some let's say what pattern and see the now we will win so we won you see countdown is one only one one time you want to play with the base bet increase to one and let's let's find another opportunity and play and win again you see what happened base bet is 20 cents countdown is zero and waiting for other chance so we are again playing with the ba basic base bet not increased countdown and this is the let's say approach how do i take fun phantom bankroll the key message is I don't want to always multiply my base bet with variance from average if for example one progression one was not successful another consecutive progression was again not successful and then you would already have a base bet five which is crazy and if you would happen this three times in a row you would have a 25 so this is too big therefore I said I will not limit that and I want to give me, for example, if I'm playing only 10 spins and that's it, no levels, just one. I want to take just two times opportunity to recover from my loss. Two times I will increase my base bet to one and hope for recover. If not, I still keep a base bet one, but I will not increase it anymore. But you see then my success rate was quite an interesting one, maybe three to one and almost. So... This is currently, I believe this is one of the best approaches how you can play, including the fact that your bankroll is in plus. You don't see if you are running tests, then something went down or up and so on. But this way, with the phantom bankroll, countdown and land, you can really play very nicely. Then you increase your base bet, you want to recover quickly from your, from your loss progression. And you, don't, you are not going to some any crazy big amounts which you have to put on one number and so on and it's a it's a very fine tuning find that what is the best length of the phantom bankroll how many rounds you wanna play and what is the variance from average coefficient and what what are the spins because if you would say okay i will play for example 20 spins here my variance from average here is uh, three coefficient and length is four i it's obviously clear that I should increase my length because I am not going to recover so quickly from a 20 spins progression which I lost comparing to 10 spins so with, if I just lost 10 spins it's a very small drawdown and only two, two let's say sessions and I can be in plus already if I'm playing 20 spins progression then I need maybe longer time when I play with the increased base bet but not I don't want to increase it and multiply five but also maybe three is enough and this this is let's say fine-tuning which I'm doing and testing 
but I wanted to give you the impression on how you can actually work with your money management if you have a really very good predicting system when to play what you know why and plus if you combine it with this money money management parts and maybe also phantom bankroll which I just explained to you can be a really huge advantage for you how to compete with random number generator and having and you'll maximize your chance to make a profit thank you for watching this session and see you next time bye bye